Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I kind of wanted to give you guys like a life update and what's going on with me. As you guys know, the coronavirus has kept me inside. I have been social distancing because I want to help be a part of preventing the spread, which means staying indoors, even though it can be boring, but it's left me more time to create more content for you guys. So I guess we can all be thankful for that. Now, a little bit of an update, a beauty update, I should say. Excuse my bare face. My face has been breaking out because of the stress of the coronavirus. You guys know I have anxiety. So your girl has been kind of stressed. But before I started my social distancing slash self-quarantining, I got my extensions put back in. Now, excuse, uh, excuse the way I'm dressed. I just figured I'd pop on here and do a quick video for you guys. But um, yes, I got my extensions put back in and I use the Habit Hand Tied Hair Extensions when I get my permanent hair extensions. Now, if I'm just doing temporary hair extensions, I use the, I use the Hidden Crown Hair Extensions when I'm doing um, clip-ins. As you can see, this is what the clip-in hair extensions look like. Um, I bought two packs because with my hair being so short, um, I needed to be able to blend my short hair in with my long hair. Um, so this is the extensions I use when I'm just doing temporary clip-ins. These are my favorite, they're thick, they're full. The clips don't hurt my head. So these are the Hidden Crown hair extensions. The Have a Hand Tied hair extensions are basically put in with, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna try to show you guys. They're put in with a bead and then they're sewn onto the bead. So there is no damage to my actual hair. Last time I had my Habit Hand Tied Hair Extensions, my hair grew from here to, I'm not kidding you guys, to here. Um, when we took my extensions out, obviously my hair did a V and it needed to be cut and that's why I did a full cut just because I wanted to start fresh and I wanted to have short hair. So this is just the safest way for me to go. It prevents damage to my hair and it ultimately helps my hair grow because I'm not putting any kind of like pressure or I'm not putting any chemicals on my actual root of my hair. So that's why I like going with a Habit Hand Tied Hair Extensions. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys what products I use and how I do the upkeep of my Habit Hand Tied Hair Extensions. Now, um, I went to a girl named Mallory. She is located in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you go to my Instagram, you guys can click on her Instagram and get a consultation with her, get more information. She also specializes in balayage. And as you can see, I do have a couple highlights in my hair. I wanted to kind of like do a summery look, but you guys know I love my hair dark and I didn't want to do too much of a transition, but she did a kick ass job and she put in just a couple highlights in my actual hair extensions. And then she put in a couple baby highlights in my hair, which I'm going to show you when I put all my hair down. So, um, the way to make your hair last long, like these extensions, this actual hair is supposed to last for anywhere from six months to eight months. If you take really good care of it, it can last a year. It just depends on how you take care of your hair. Now, you have to get a move up every six to eight, nine weeks, um, Mine varies just depending on how much I wear my hair up and there's a bunch of different factors if your hair grows quicker than normal people or whatever, um, you might have to get a move, move up quicker like at the six week mark. But ultimately, I usually go about every eight weeks plus my schedule is so crazy it varies. Um, but every day I put oil in my extensions and the oil that I use is the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil. I have had this bottle for a year. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. Um, I got this when I got my Habit Hand Tied Hair Extensions done at Lolly's Beauty Bar in Norman, Oklahoma. Um, and it has lasted me the whole time. They actually gave me a gift basket and this came in it. Um, and then my spot that I go to in Destin, Florida is called, why, why is it slipping my hair? Why is it slipping my head, my hair? Why is it slipping my head? 
Fringe & Co. Alyssa at Fringe & Co. She is amazing. So I have three spots that I go to. If I'm in the Oklahoma area, um, I go to Lolly's in Norman, Oklahoma. If I'm in the Atlanta area, I go to Mallory. And you guys, uh, she has her own little spot. So to get in contact with her, go to my Instagram and you can see uh, my hair transformation and she's tagged in it. And then if I'm in Florida, I go to Fringe & Co. and I see Alyssa. So that's kind of um, like an update if you're in those areas. That's where you can go to get your Habit Hand Tied Hair Extensions done. Um, and then also, so I put this in my hair every single day. Um, I use about two drops. It does not weigh down my hair. It's really lightweight and it helps protect my hair. It has heat protectant. It defrizzes, it tames, it softens, silkens, and prevent, prevents damage from heat and UV rays. Okay, so now every, I wash my hair three or four times a week. Wait, no. I wash my hair every three to four days, depending on how greasy my hair gets or how much product buildup is in my hair. Um, I try not to wash it more than twice a week. Um, just depends on how crazy I am that week, I guess. Um, but when I get out of the shower, the first thing I do is I put in my Paul Mitchell Extra Body. It's called Extra Body Daily Boost. It's a root lifter. Basically, I put it on the roots of my hair and I put a couple sprays. The sprayer looks like this. And I just rub it all in my hair. Now, I use this every time I get out of the shower. This is called Pillow Proof. It's a blow dry express primer. It basically saves time blow drying and it also protects from heat damage, which is super important. I don't care what you guys use um, on your hair. Just make sure you always use a heat protectant because you don't want your extensions you paid a lot of money for to get damaged by heat. So these are the three products that I use. The Paul Mitchell Extra Body, Extra Body Daily Boost. It's a root lifter. The Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil. And then the Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Primer. And I believe you can get all three of these at Ulta. Um, they're fairly priced and they last a long time. Now, a lot of people ask about my hairspray, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what hairspray I use. I use two things. They're both Redken. I'm a huge Redken fan. Um, this Pillow Proof is by Redken. I went to um, cosmetology school and Redken was one of the, my favorite products there and I've just always used it since then. So I use the Redken Full Force 23. It's a super straight hairspray. Um, a little goes a long way with this hairspray and it's Redken. And then whenever I curl my hair and I want to give it extra texture and extra volume, I use this Redken Triple Dry 15. It's a dry texture finishing spray. So that means like if I want to give more volume and more texture to my hair, I will like kind of lift my hair up and then spray it in. And those are the two things I use to set and finish my hair. So I guess I use five products. Um, this is one I use every day. This is what I use when I get out of the shower. And then this is what I use when I style my hair, whether it be just straightening my hair or curling and straightening my hair. These are my two products. And you know what? I lied. Okay, so there is one more product that I use in my hair. So um, as you guys know, I have like thinning hair up here. I think it's from wearing my hair in a half up thing and I pull it super tight to my head. It's actually starting to grow back. And um, I'm going to say that this has had a big to do with my hair growing back. I got this off of Amazon. I just Googled um, edge regrowth because basically that is my edges that have been thinning. And this is SE Natural Stronger, Thicker, Longer Hair. And it's called Hair Growth Oil. Um, it is from Amazon. I believe it was like maybe 20 bucks. Um, and then... It comes like this and I just do two squirts and I only put it right here and it doesn't get oily and it doesn't weigh my hair down and it doesn't leave a lot of residue. So that's why I love that product. So those are the products that I use every day. Now, the whole point of this video is because I wanted to show you guys this cool new product. I'm not even paid to talk about this product, okay, or this tool, but I wanted to show you guys how I get my hair looking so smooth with just blow drying it. 
Now, now that I have my extensions, I do have to quickly go over it with the blow dryer, like a regular blow dryer. But to get my hair super silky smooth, I have found that this blow dryer brush, which I got from Amazon for $35, has not only cut down drying time, but it's made my hair super smooth and super silky. And I don't even have to run a straightener over it now that I have found this brush. Um, it comes like this. It comes with a glove because sometimes your hair will get super hot and you don't want to burn your hand. Um, I don't use the glove just because, I don't know, I just haven't used the glove yet because my hair hasn't got hot enough. But you can literally, you know, hold it if your hair gets too hot. It comes with this. And it comes with a whole bag of clips. So for 35 bucks, you get the blow dryer brush, the clips, and the glove. And I'm just going to show you guys how I use it. I've sectioned, sectioned my hair off like you see. I've already done half of my head. But I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use and um, how smooth my hair looks. So first off, I pull like a little section like this. Like if I was to go curl my hair, I just pick up a little section. I turn it on by squeezing the or by twisting the bottom. And it just leaves my hair looking super smooth. Now I've already done this side of my head or this part of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the top so you guys can actually see how smooth the finish is on my hair. So I'm gonna let all this down and you guys can see how frizzy and how nappy it looks right now, but it won't be like that for long. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, and you can see where my little highlights are. I'm gonna go ahead and do this section over here. So this is the before. I've already put my product in it. I put my product in it before I even start doing my hair. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a clip here. And a clip here so it doesn't get in my way. Like I said, I'm gonna pick up a little section. So this part right here is still wet. So you guys can really see how it's done. You guys can see how smooth that section of my hair looks Ugh, I'm obsessed with this blow dryer brush you guys so I'm gonna do a couple more sections but this has literally cut my blow drying and blow drying time in half and it's also cut out half to use like a round brush so it saves time it saves time and it's not as hard as taking a actual brush and a blow dryer
It is literally so smooth. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more sections. literally as simple as that you guys so i just wanted to share my new amazon find with you guys and show you guys what products i put in my hair but i literally don't even have to use a straightener after i go in and with my blow dryer brush so and if you want to like really concentrate on making it super smooth do it in smaller sections and i like to go in and kind of pick up the whole side of my hair so it kind of evens out and gives that more smooth finished look I want to show you guys you can't even see where my extensions start so I'm obsessed I love hope you guys enjoyed this video I want to put more content out for you guys I just had an extra second today before we go and make all these phone calls to set up stuff with our new house which we're moving into hopefully soon we'll see with the coronavirus and everything that's going on um so if you like this video give me a thumbs up i'm going to leave a link where you can purchase the blow dryer brush i'm not sure which one it is i know there's like some hundred dollar ones out there you don't need a hundred dollar one to get this look you can literally use this 30 dollar one and it do the same thing as the hundred dollar one so thank you guys for watching this video like subscribe let me know what you guys want to see next and thank you guys for all the love and support love you guys